Sports at Pistic Penguin Studios presents It's, it's getting, getting Drafty in Here. Drafty old park. The show of drafting random nonsense. I choose business ethics. And now, coming to you from his basement, a.k.a. Draft Headquarters, your host and draft master, Magnificent Stan. Hello, welcome to episode 24 of It's Getting Drafty in Here. I am your host, Magnificent Stan. Today is uh, Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. And uh, today we're, we're kind of pulling away from the, you know, movie, music, uh, sports. I'm pulling away from all of those this week. And we are going to do one that was uh, suggested by one of our, one of our, one of, one of the members of our panel, um, which is uh, legal things that should be illegal. So things that are on the books as, or not on the books that should be joining me today. First of all, we have our buddy Stoop from the all sports scene. What's going on, pal? Hello, I am here and ready to draft. (laughs) You look excited. I'm I'm glad to have you here, buddy. I'm so excited. (laughs) (laughs) Also joining us is another, uh, well, I mean, can I can I frame you as a member of the all sports scene? You're, I, I I called you the first lady of all sports scene earlier. I'm just uh, a part of the fan club. Part of the fan club. Yeah. <laughs> she's also she's also been one of our one of our biggest supporters here at, at, at uh, Drafty Pod at Statistic Penguin Studios. Very very always active in our chat rooms and always uh, always just a great part of the part of the part of the group. So, uh, Caitlin Reeves, how you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a good one. Right on. I always love when the person that comes up with the idea. I always love when I have when we have them on because it's always it always adds to it. So I really really appreciate you being here today. Thank you. And then finally, member of the Chicago Sports Bum Bums, he is uh, the finest basketball player in the history of White Sox Twitter. He is my favorite. I mean, can I call you a fellow communist? Or I mean, you, you, I, I guess we're, I guess we're, you know, comrade. Bre- <laughs> um, I, I was gonna, I was, I was planning on calling you comrade. I'm glad you brought that to me. But uh, all right, HBIC, how you doing, Jason? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I, I, when I, when I was putting this episode together, I'm like, oh man, this is perfect for Jason. <laughs> this is like perfect, perfect old man yells at clouds uh, topic. Um, and I, I, I think I think Jason plus Stoop equals chaos. So that's what I'm hoping we see here today a little bit. You know, I'm I'm a little more subdued this time because <laughs> last time we had us you had us on for the barbecue draft. I was drinking heavily. Heard to the gate. The night is water, uh, so there, the chaos might be a little tempered. I'm not going to make this pod go off the rails or do double drafting and cause controversy like last time. I'm a little disappointed. I kind of want you to, <laughs> but, uh, but all right. So you had, you won the lottery. So you have the first pick in our draft here. All right. So um, I didn't really pick a lot because I'm going to win it with the first pick and it's just, gonna be <laughs> just Jordan. And that's, okay. <laughs> that's ticket master fees. Oh, I, I, yep, I have that on there. Oh, yep. Mm. It's a good one. What a pain in the ass! Does um, this is this strictly Ticketmaster, or does this apply to all of the ticketing services? Ah, see, now you're pulling, you're trying to do what I did with the Adachera. With <laughs> I'm just with asking questions. Yeah, ticket twenty dollars after fees, a hundred. <laughs> well, you also have like the city fee and like oh yeah, the extra tax for Chicago because they, they all do the they all do this the service stuff. charge, the convenience fee, the tax, the city tax, the entertainment state tax. fee. Yeah, they all do the, this. Shit. The fuck the you seat tax, seat geek, game time, Ticketmaster, StubHub. They all do this bullshit. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I've learned now just to click that button that shows after fees, so I'm not bamboozled at the end. <laughs> Oh, you're smart. You are That's smart. Ridiculous. I'd never do that. <laughs> I think like StubHub. I think StubHub does it. But yeah, it drives me nuts. And by the time I like see the fees, I'm like, 
I'm out. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, never. I didn't want it that bad anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a great. great I don't want to see the fucking Wiggles anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an appropriate first overall pick. Forget um, these White Sox tickets. I was oh. I was between I was between two, and I decided after consulting the wife, she she recommended going with the Ticketmaster fees because they're universally hated. Yeah. So. That's a great first pick. I, I'm waiting for like one big artist. I need like Taylor Swift or, or someone to just be like, fuck Ticketmaster. I'm going on my own platform <laughs> or going on a, Pearl Jam like a, did it. a startup Pearl Jam did or something. It. Pearl Jam sued them and they still, they still, they're still doing it. And this 30 years later, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, they, they went in front of the fucking Senate and, uh, and they're still, they're still able to do whatever the hell they want. Um, all right. Well, Ticketmaster, that's a, that was a perfect one. Definitely on my list. Definitely on, I think, two of the lists that were presented to me as well, because I'm going to have a few few to uh, show you guys at the end here. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and go next. I actually didn't have, like, my definitive, like, pick pick. But uh, I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick I fucking hate cash. Hmm. Oh. I like that. I don't was have, it? I don't even have a cash. Just cash. Oh. I don't. I don't want cash anymore. <laughs> Ooh, I I pretty vehemently disagree with you. Why? I'm, I'm I'm with you, Bri. <laughs> I I will have to I will have to disagree a little bit. I stopped carrying cash. Yeah, I only carry like a money clip of, and it's not even money in there. It's just plastic credit cards. But then there's that occasional time where like, oh, I need to tip someone, and I don't have any fucking cash. Well, they'll because figure, they'll figure out a system for that. You know what I mean? And, like, and, and sometimes I'll be like, "Hey, you got a you got Venmo or something?" And I'll I'll send them money. But like the other day, we had we went out for dinner, and I couldn't find any parking. I had to valet it, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I don't have any cash to tip the valet guy." So, <laughs> yeah, yes, Baloney, I am a communist. <laughs> yeah, the oh. only time I like cash is when I'm going to the casino, <laughs> or else yeah. I I hate it. Like when I, I'm very like particular about my finances so it drives me nuts when i'm like wait but then there's this in sam's wallet and this in my wallet. it drives me nuts i like it all in my i'm ready for the barcode or the uh or the microchip in your arm i'm I'm just ready for it (laughs) just 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 lean into it man it's they they won just remember that they were gonna have bands i mean you you really (laughs) made you're really making it easy for them though you're really letting them win like you guys are putting a lot of <laughs> trust gonna, into some but fucking gonna numbers win. on a screen man they're gonna win anyway man like what okay what if they don't what if the <laughs> sun explodes or like what if we uh you know topple the government then what like obviously like we're gonna set up a new system but in the interim it would be nice to like have something to kind of use as currency in the meantime i'm a i'm a big proponent of cash also you know the government can't track what I'm spending my money on if I use cash. And that's a that's a big seller for me. That's not that's just true. not and not just not just the government, but corporations and every all of the entities that would do the tracking cannot do and, the tracking if you're buying things with a physical. Yeah, so uh, playing the part of Howard Hugh, Howard Hughes this evening is stoop. And I also <laughs> want to mention that cash actually helps those fine young ladies go through college. When you <laughs> exact exact see exactly it, it cash makes the world you can't you around. can't be throwing the credit cards on stage you got to be throwing no. cash so what would no. what would happen to our economy if there's no cash yeah. the stri- we'll there would we'll... be no strip clubs the world would go into utter chaos yeah I and agree. we would all just kill each other because the strip clubs no longer so we, exist so so the okay. ripple effect so so to sum up we the need cash effect. because of strippers yes 100 <laughs> percent yeah, and, yes, and yes, gambling. We need, yeah, we need <laughs> we need cash because of strippers, gambling, and drugs. Yes, yes. the finer that's, that's things. The, that's the world economy right there. None that's, of the, I mean, seriously, like that's, that's not that's, the finance. Those things make the world. Those things make the world go around. I think that's yeah. an excellent point. If you have a podcast of trios, those are that's our trio right there. Yeah, those three things. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> All I would, right. I would prefer to use cash just over everything like it lets I, I i would like to go the opposite direction than what is currently happening where the places like the ballpark being cashless makes me want to fight every time i i want to use cash god damn it just, just plus 
Just plus, fucking conform, man. Plus, plus, like you know, I, I ha- whenever there's you know, everyone's got this fucking screen now where you put the card and then it's like, here, do you select how much you want to tip? I have no way of knowing that that tip is actually going to the person that I'm supposedly tipping. So you know how you know how I can ensure that that person is getting my money if I hand them money. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. I know some businesses that they say that like sometimes like they don't get like the tip. So yeah, I did. I do like to tip cash. You think you think Jerry's giving those people the vendors and whatnot? You think he's giving them those tips? This is this is my favorite comment of the night so far. We got Gordo uh, saying he accepts Venmo and Zell for drugs. Yeah, I, I do. I do too, Gordo. But then you know what I have to do? I have to go take out the cash. Then I have. Then I have to launder it somehow. <laughs> Marty Bird style. <laughs> <laughs> all right all so right, for Caitlin. for <clears throat> for mine it happens twice a year and we all hate it and it's daylight savings ah so I, good that's a good one, good one. that's a i one. i unless you live in arizona yeah it, i think it's arizona and was it alaska or a lot was, there's like two states i think that is don't there an area in indiana that they don't accept they don't observe it soon to be illinois yeah, I, yeah, I'm hoping so because no, we, it, it already me. passed. Yeah, I, I, did? I, think, I think we are done changing forever as of now. It's oh, either, I didn't it's hear e- that it's, yet. It's, it's, e- it's either this year or next year. I think it's next year. I don't think it's right away. Oh, that'll be but, amazing. I know it's been talked about, but I yeah, haven't see, seen my wife said it too. So. In, Indiana, Indiana doesn't observe it. Let um, <clears throat> and and let me further take the fun out of this. Um, it is actually we all say daylight savings time. Yeah, and, I messed that up. And and Lord knows, it, as Chicago whites, uh, we are want to <laughs> add the pluralizing s to Jules. everything. Uh, it is actually daylight saving time. Yeah, my hubby and, corrected me. And interestingly. What we're currently on in the summer is actually daylight saving time. So like the 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 regular time, the real time is actually the depressing ass shit that we're on in the winter. But so what we're actually doing when we stop changing is we're actually going to be staying on this daylight saving time, which is just going to make everyone so much happier. Uh, yeah. Like I said, it takes me months. It takes my dogs even longer. I feel like there's nothing like when they wake you up even earlier for dinner. It's fun. <laughs> But no, I just feel like I can never get used to it. And I'm just like, why do we still do this? Why? I didn't realize, though, that it's uh, finally going to be a thing because that's going to be awesome. So my wife mentioned Indiana. I mentioned Indiana. And now Jackie throws this out. This is a quote. Uh, what kind of schmuck ass is this? This is from the West Wing. And that's probably why all three of us know that Indiana doesn't observe daylight saving. <laughs> just because of that one episode of the West Wing where they all get lost in Indiana. <laughs> but are, I, my, so are we still doing this like uh in the fall do we still I, have to i don't think so i think that because i i remember when it when we passed this uh this we're gonna stop doing this thing we passed oh it God, we, yeah. we passed it last year like in 2022 so i i think we're we, i think we've already shifted our clocks for the last time oh and, thank you and my favorite thing about daylight saving time is that whenever you ask anybody particularly like city dwellers when you ask us why we have daylight saving time, you could just get some kind of vague nebulous answer about the, say the about farmers. farmers. Yeah, yeah, it was about crops. No yeah. one can elaborate on what it is about the farmers and why. Well, they and it was always, that was always why that was always why kids uh, didn't have they, they uh, the schools were letting out earlier and earlier and earlier so they could tend crops and. That makes Fucking... that's a more specific answer than you usually get about daylight saving time, though. <laughs> right. well, I need that right. free child labor. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but I just realized I have one. I have one of those oh. clocks that automatically changes with daylight savings time. So now I have to get rid of that. Otherwise, I'm going to wake up one day and I'm going to be like an hour ahead. I'm going to be like, oh fuck, I'm late. Yeah, yeah that was the other worst part. The capitalist is got you again. Clock. You have to buy all new clocks. <laughs> So are we are we to trust that Baloney knows what he's talking about? The, it, uh, he says I, that the yeah, whole I, I, country is done with it forever. So. I'm a, just surprised it wasn't more of like a hype on like I, social I think, media. I think that's a trustworthy packet of lunch meat. <laughs> I hope so, because it's on my list. Should I pick something else? <laughs> nope. No, I mean because it's still that's it's a good one. That's a really good correct one. that it should be illegal. Regard, you know, maybe it's it's currently not illegal. So all right. Works Fair for play. me. Fair I know play. we all hate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel like I have a a sizable list of B tier picks, and I'm deliberating. 
Well, you got two uh, here, so. Okay. <sighs> we, we do All the right. snake here. A. So, number one, I'm going to go uh, speakerphone or FaceTime in public. I had that one, yep. <clears throat> the, 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 I was on the train recently, and this woman that, ah, just a regular lady, uh, didn't seem to have any kind of impairment gets on the train a, a fairly full train at night and she's just squawking away just a loud conversation between her and whoever is on the other line and the subject matter was not particularly noteworthy otherwise i'd probably remember what the fuck they were talking about but uh, just what are you like there's other people here they shut the care. fuck up man <laughs> It's care. ridiculous. I can't uh, stand it. The, what I'm going to start doing from like when, when people are doing that now, like either the like FaceTime's fine if you have the, the uh, things in your ears. Yeah. yeah. But if I can hear your conversation, I'm just going to start participating. In participating. Your <laughs> just yeah. turn around. Just turn around and jump in. Yeah. That's well, because clearly, because because you because you clearly want me to hear whatever it is you're talking about. So. <laughs> well, and it's never like a quiet like FaceTime call or quiet no, speaker. No. It's it's like no. holy like I, when I was served and bartended like for years, like we'd have the entire restaurant all looking at the same table. Like, are you kidding me right now with this? <laughs> like, it's just ob ob obnoxious for sure. It's never like quiet. It's always got to be like times ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's. And they're always talking about some dumbass shit. Yeah, the discolored <laughs> flaps on my butthole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit like that. Oh, no, yeah. you need to put carrots in it. Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's always a like a like a like the worst invention for 60 year olds was speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And it's always fun too watching the older people have the phone on speakerphone and still put it up to their ear. Right. That's no, always what? So, huh? so my mom, go to my mom sound isn't coming out of that part of the phone now because you elected for it to come out of a different <laughs> part of the phone. My uh, my mom <laughs> didn't get a cell phone until she was like sixty, and she would do that like, <laughs> like she did, she just didn't know that like it it's actually really good like it'll pick it up. You don't have to you know. <laughs> my dad still does that, and the amount of times so. he comes over every week. Can you look this up? I'm like, oh lord. <laughs> Oh Here my! My dad is the biggest offender of this. I mean, granted, he's not. I guess he's not doing it in in public that I know of, but he he'll pace back and forth in their house on on speakerphone. He like he he refuses to just talk on the phone normal. He has to have it on speakerphone. I I don't understand. And then he paces around it... so when I'm talking to him on the phone. I just hear a bunch of shuffling noises is it because he's having hearing problems though because that's like that's no, like the one no, concern you have no. with people that are doing that is like they legit can't fucking hear no you know no, what he, I mean? no like, i'm sure he can hear he's just an idiot i don't i, don't, I, I just I, it's inexcusable to me so uh, another, a further update is i guess it's not happened uh, yet i don't understand uh, why like what's a pro of having daylight savings i don't get it we, we uh, nobody to, does. we need to nobody hire gets it we need to hire a fucking fact checker here at Draft Pod. Does anybody? I, I, I will. Yeah. I will pay somebody to look shit up during a, episodes. A, a professional Googler. Yes. Yeah. Come on, you and Brandy and on the business together. Yeah. Fact checking on the side. Oh boy. I trust her. She'll just she'll just steal from me. That's how but I yeah, that is a good one. I I have that one on my list. I can't stand that. <laughs> I can't. Right. I could go on. Ah. Uh... I think number two is going to be um, pissing on the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> you have a piss answer? You, man, we made it before 20 minutes you mentioned piss. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to disappoint. Um, I think that you should be arrested if you are too fucking lazy to pick up the goddamn seat before you piss. It's not that hard. Yep. I grew up with four, five guys, and it was fun. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand it. Who <laughs> raised these fucking animals? Hey. I don't get it. It's the same people on the speaker phones in public, yeah, you probably. know? probably, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably right about that. Yeah, you could really, you could really get a double whammy going if you're like uh, you're talking loudly on speakerphone and pissing on the toilet seat simultaneously that'd be that'd be great <laughs> it's like the most annoying human being ever yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like rival carrot top for the worst person ever 
<laughs> Jason, mm-hmm. Jason, do you sit when you pee? That's what uh, that's what Baloney's uh, accusing you of. It was it was a question of the week, and I said <laughs> if it's three a.m. in the morning, and you have to get up yeah. to go pee, and do you turn off? Do you turn on all the lights to pee, or you just keep the lights off and sit down and pee? I'm absolutely team sit down and pee. You call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. Uh, sitting is better than standing. I, I'm, I'm too discombobulated to just not walk up and just, just go. Like, I, like I, I turn the light on. Like I'm. I, the last thing I want, like, at 2 or 3 in the morning when I'm half asleep is a... Ah, I'm LED absolutely light. not turning. You're a psychopath you. if you're turning on the light. That's insane. I guess yeah. I'm a psychopath. That's insane. I'll, 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 I'll sit and pee in the dark. Like Absolutely sit and pee in the dark. 100%. All right. I prefer to sit too, guys. Okay. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a better way. <laughs> it's more efficient. All right. Number two. All right. We've all been on airplanes before, and they're too damn small. So I think we should ban middle seats on airplanes. All right. Okay. It doesn't sure. matter what, except for you can keep them because some people have little kids. I get it. And it just gives more space to the aisle seats and the window seat. I hate it. it uh, I've been traveling for years, and no matter what size I was, you're just sitting there packed. Doesn't yeah. matter which seat you are. And if you're in the middle seat, obviously it's the worst because the people yeah. next to you forget that those are your armrests, not theirs. That's true. And, and then you and just end up in this weird little like. No one like, under- No hours. one understands. No one. Uh, a lot of people don't know that that's the etiquette. That yeah, be the, because if you're on the aisle, you have the luxury of having you the, have the luxury. If you're if you're if you're at the window, over. you have the luxury of having the window and the yeah. wall to yeah. lean against and shit. Right. Yeah. And the middle seat, the only respite that you have is the goddamn armrests. Right. Those, yeah. are, the, those are the middle seats armrests. And they're always taken by the people next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been a middle seater in a while because I'm at that age now where I will pay the extra to yeah. make sure. So, Brandy's got to go to Brandy's going to Japan in September, and she's oh, just nice. kind of agonizing over over like the 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 comfort of the of the plane, which I don't I don't blame her. Obviously, I'm a oh, bigger, yeah. I'm a bigger person, so I definitely understand that as well. Oh, for um, sure. and yeah, I, I told her I'm like, if you got to pay extra, like I don't care, like oh, whatever, yeah. whatever it costs to be comfortable, like you don't want to be miserable on that, you know. Oh yeah, it's the worst. Like yeah, Sam and I, we just try to like get the aisle seats. Yeah. Or before COVID, you know, we would like sit in the same aisle, and if anyone came towards us, I'd start fake coughing so they go away. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can't do that anymore. No. So then sometimes we just pray. The goddamn like, liberals canceled coughing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's just uncomfortable. Someone's elbowing you. Someone's like touching other people, like having them against you for that long. It's like get away from me. That was the nice perk of COVID. No middle seats, and they should be banned. I will stay on my stoop box. Yeah, yeah. Good, good call. <laughs> that is a really good one for sure. Um. Okay. My soap box. I said stoop box. Stoop, your stoop box? <laughs> that, works. Sure that. <laughs> that works. That works too. Stoop box. All right. I'm going to go. Most people have to pay extra to see my stoop box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, One of the things that kind of drives me crazy is I don't really want to pay for cable anymore, but I do it just because I, I want to watch White Sox baseball. And it's because of blackout restrictions that I have to watch local channels as opposed to, uh, you know, MLB TV or anything like that. So I'm going to pick. I uh, have I, YouTube TV, Brian. YouTube. Well, yeah, but that's still you're still paying for cable. I don't want to pay for that anymore. That's well, uh, well, you're paying for something. I mean, YouTube streaming cable. That's what it is, basically. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's semantics. It's not cable. It doesn't come over. I mean, it's Internet, but right yeah tomato tomato i guess it's cheaper it's cheaper than cable though a little bit yeah Maybe. we always hate know. the blackout restrictions it's Some of the blackout restrictions it's it's something that's it's 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 old like like yeah it's, it's very stupid it's very that, very dumb and like all the all the local sports stations are all going out of business now and it's like <laughs> well now it's like <laughs> yeah, wonder TV. Why. yeah like right. now it's like special games and i feel like well, we like, signed up for all that and it's like Jesus Christ, like we signed up for so much crap just to watch something that should be on TV all the time. 
And I'm not trying to remember out. what team it was. I think it was the Padres that actually lost their network. Um, like the, and Major yeah. League Baseball handles their TV now. Well, I remember everybody broadcast. went crazy oh. over the Cubs for like the marquee network. Yeah, like people yeah. at first were going like insane because it wasn't going to be included. And yeah, well, marquee marquee Mar- network still doesn't have a deal with YouTube, YouTube TV, TV, so I just don't see Cubs games ever. Yep, which well, is okay, yep. Yeah. fine. The only time I've ever seen marquee network was like in a bar, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> exactly. That, never... <laughs> yep. Well, eventually, I think it's all going to be handled by the sport itself, but. Until well, then. I mean, eventually it'll just all be on the orb. <laughs> Are we talking about like the big orb in, in Las Vegas? Uh, oh, yeah, the sure. Big sphere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with you though, Brian. I think that's really annoying. I know Sam gets super pissed about that. All Who's right, charging 20 there? extra? Is that, is that Comcast or Yumper? Know, YouTube TV, I think. Cause I oh, think, really? I, I think Comcast has Marquee. I didn't know YouTube TV could could do that. Yeah, Comcast has Marquee. I get it with my, yeah. my okay. package. You got your package, huh? I got my package. And it comes Just with Marquee. Marquee. <laughs> All right, All right. Mr. Mr. Jason. All right. Um, I got back to back here. So I'm going to go next thing. The one thing I probably hate the most is I was between this is the first overall pick as well. Uh, telemarketing calls. Yep. I, mean, well. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, about that. my car's extended warranty. Yeah. I don't care about like if you're trying to sell me Medicaid. My roof doesn't need to be redone. Like, <laughs> no, just stop fucking calling me. A hundred percent. Too much of this shit. Yep, I like, have that too. Yep. So, right. and I mean, then they, yeah, they, they're on like. There have been crazy lately, and it's like as the years go on, it's like like you know now your phones tell you like scam likely, which is nice, but it's still annoying. So let me let me ask this: are are you getting telemarketing calls on your landline? And if so, why do you have a landline? <laughs> no, it's on my cell. What, it's on my cell phone, it? man. Yeah. And if it's on your cell phone, you know you don't have to answer, right? Well, if it's if it says like. Yeah, it'll, telemarketing it'll, or like suspected spam, I never do. But I usually. Sometimes it'll, sometimes what if, it'll it's, be what if like, it's just a phone number that you don't have saved in your phone? Oh, I'm, gonna... I'm 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 crazy like that. I'll answer. I'll answer a phone. Oh, that's that is crazy. I, I give I, them yeah. all my cash. I'm just not going to answer. And what what I've what I've learned helps, especially with the robocalls, um, is and this is a pro tip for everybody out there. If you're getting robocalls, and you'll notice that they kind of they they come in waves. Like maybe you accidentally answered one and now for the next few days you're getting fucking 10 a day. If Uh. you, if rather than like just, you know, hit the don't answer button, if you actually answer and then immediately mute your mic, uh, eventually they'll hang up and then they'll mark you as a dead phone number. That's what I do. I I answer and I put it on mute and then they hang up. Yeah. I work for a company that does telemarketing <laughs> on a limited basis, so I can't, you know, I, I don't specifically do it. I used to do it there, but I, um, I've grown out of that. But, All right. Uh, well, the two of you have to fight now. That's oh, the it's, rule. A, it's, a, <laughs> it's a terrible, it's a terrible thing it's a ter- to, to be on that other end of it. It's, it's, yeah. it's a miserable job and, uh, yeah, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Yeah. For All right. <laughs> And I guess I'll go with my third round. And I'm going to try to word this correctly. Um, It's going to be politicians in Congress being able to serve as long as they wish. Uh, Yeah. Term term limits. Not not necessarily. Age limits. Yeah. Age limits. Like, after after 60, 65, you're you're done. Just fuck off. Just just, you're already rich. Just stop it. Stop just, it. You're, you know what? We don't we don't need any eighty plus year old politicians running yep. this shit anymore. Like hundred percent. Literally, the man's literally dying standing up. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. yeah no dude, way. that was stop. bad. Like, you shouldn't be making laws for me. You're gonna be dead in five minutes. Yep. Making laws. So I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, well, that's. I'm trying to word it correctly. Is it? Being able to serve as long as you want, or we can say age limits for. Uh, you know what? Pop. I'm gonna put it as age, age slash, and term limits. I'm gonna put yeah slash term limits. Yeah. Just yeah. so that just so that like old people, the AARP doesn't come after you or this show. <laughs> yeah, we don't need ninety sure. year old men yeah. making all the decisions for all they're of gonna, us. They're gonna America. they're gonna they're gonna offer they're gonna offer me a sponsorship and take me out to dinner at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep, I thought yeah. of that one See, too. Sam, Sam's already on it. Sam's calling you an ageist, so we didn't. Uh, yeah, I game. am an ageist. I, you know what? If you're going, why, why the fuck are you even working at like seventy five years old? It's when power. You have all that it's money. All Just about go power. retire. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone right. and stop making decisions that you I think mean, your old not, ass thinks I need. Jason, yeah. they're not really working, man. Those guys work like like thirty days a year. <laughs> the m- really the, the most the most fun thing is to sit and watch those guys deliberate over like bitcoin or like <laughs> just something that like Yo, the, they have the whole these, these, AI right these, now. Going these people can't even tell you what wi-fi is and there's they're having a hearing about the fucking blockchain like <laughs> did you ever oh, see it. the did you ever see the facebook hearings man those were fucking yeah, hilarious yeah, exactly. now does facebook uh do i what's get a, this what's on a data what's a data mining can <laughs> yeah. i can i can i explain can you explain me yeah. what data mining is like so is facebook on my computer <laughs> like <laughs> You're telling me you can get it on the telephone? <laughs> what the no, that's, fuck? That's I agree. A, I that's agree. A good one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I think term limits are more important. I don't want a guy that's been in fucking Congress for forty five years to. I, that shouldn't happen. That's just fucking stupid. Um, yeah. But, yeah, but I think yeah. I think they're both important because I don't think that it's necessarily ageist to be like you shouldn't be making laws that aren't going to affect you because you'll be dead soon. <laughs> yep. Like I think that that's just pragmatic. Yeah. I totally agree. Wow, we're going political. I didn't uh I didn't I like it. I, I like I have it. some on my list that I, I was I was kind of hoping someone would would start it off so that I, I felt like I was okay to do it. <laughs> so thank you Jason. No I'm yeah. going that's with I'm going with religious tax exemptions. Uh, very <laughs> nice. There you go. Yeah. Good. <laughs> for far too long, you know, you got guys like like Austin and driving yeah. around in a three hundred thousand dollar fucking car because uh, the other one that just oh, died yeah. recently. Yeah. Uh, uh, the seven hundred club motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Graham. No. I yeah. don't know what his fucking name is. Who cares? So so yeah, I think it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, get it together. Whoo! Okay, so so yeah, I mean, for far too long, these 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 churches have been they've been a bit they're business. They're not they're not a fucking. I mean, they are, but they're not. Um, that for far too long they've been they've been sucking at the teat of the government and not paying their fair share. There are most of these most of these super churches are bigger organizations than conglomerates and then yeah and it's they, not fair know. when the rest of us have to pay to suck on teats right exactly, <laughs> exactly. yeah no 100 so, yeah. so i'm going they're gonna go after us for for you know small little little things i'm gonna go after them for the big stuff so it's time we and they yeah and, and, and they feel like they're gonna they're gonna stick their nose in and try to um manipulate and try to push people in the, their directions politically and then not not pay their fair share. Get the fuck out of here. Sticking their yeah. nose right up in the teat. Agreed, yes, agreed. Yumper, I absolutely remember that. That was Austin. And he would yeah, he wouldn't open his fucking church up. Um mm-hmm. to, so for people sad. to stand there. Terrible, terrible person. It's supposed to be a place of help and it's a big nope. Nope. All right, Caitlin. Well, Brian, since you brought up religion first. Hey, let's <laughs> keep going. I'm I'm gonna go there. It's a little, uh, but uh, you ever heard of purity balls? Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't that? So I think that's what this... I call my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh taking god. the same. Oh, thing. oh, those ain't pure, Jason. <laughs> oh good lord! But yeah, it's an it's, it's an ironic this name. Idea. Yeah, just this idea that these like young women are supposed to like pledge their virginity with their fathers and their fathers are supposed to protect it and then they go to a like a ball together it's just fucked up it's yeah just, and so tell me again disgusting. tell me again who the groomers are it, right you're, right you're, yeah. exactly you're, you're, you're saying it's not the grown ass men worried about their right. young daughter's virginity i just think it's the most disgusting thing it's like and then you're it's really, like, oh, you, the... yeah, you're really thinking a lot about this, dad. Yeah, the dad's supposed to protect the the daughter. Told her, it's like, what does the dad have to do with that at all? Like, oh, it's just disgusting, and they're so young, and it's just disgust. It's creepy. 
Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's mm. self-explanatory, but yeah. Ugh. Mm. Well, and the, and, the, and the funny part about it not funny but the fucked up part about it is is these kids go to purity balls and they're the ones that are going to end up uh, getting pregnant when they're 15 oh yeah, 100% for sure. shameless style and it's, yeah. it's because I mean yeah I mean it's because they've you know because they haven't you know had any kind of sex education and they don't know what happens when you have sex and then so you know they have sex because that's what humans do and yeah then they get pregnant at 15 and then they're not yeah. allowed to have an abortion yeah, hundred percent. It's just it's messed up, for sure. But they care about the kids. Oh yes, of course they do. <laughs> mm. well, one thing I want to go back. I forgot about uh, just just in churches in general. Um, the chicken. When I so I <laughs> I used to I used to run a photography business, and I had we had a few um, Lutheran schools that we used to do like picture days for and stuff like that. And in order to procure the the contracts for those, you would have to give a charitable donation to the churches. So, yeah, Texas. I mean, I'll, I'll give a donation I, to churches. Chicken, I, <laughs> I would pro- I would have probably gotten taxed on that. You know, I guess it's not a donation <laughs> if I'm buying chicken. Churches, the, chi- the chicken, chicken, the Purdue tax. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> their their chicken's pretty good though. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out churches. Give us sponsorship money. Give us a sponsorship, please, please. Yeah. Actually, don't even give us money. Just pay us in chicken. <laughs> there we go. I'm good with that, too. You can have a chicken pie. <clears throat> uh, yeah, man, I don't have anything like, I don't have anything like politically charged on my list, but I do have some some possibly hot takes or things that are inflammatory. Um, So I'm going to go. Please go after 9-11. Please go after 9-11. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Brian, 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 Brian. 9-11 was illegal. 9-11 was an inside job. It, no, it was illegal. That's not something that we need to make illegal. Sure. <laughs> uh, fair, fair enough. <laughs> we could argue over whether it should be legal. All right, never mind. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, all Apple products for my third overall pick. Oh, all of them. Oh man! All Apple products. <laughs> I'm, so glad, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Foes at the Dodgers game. Uh, <laughs> I I like I iPhone, iPad, the laptops. Uh, the laptops are fine, but they're eight thousand fucking dollars. All of it. You're all. Fuck! Are you all sheep? Standing in God, <laughs> standing in goddamn line for a fucking three thousand dollar phone that does what my phone did ten fucking generations ago. Grow up. They have a they have a nice camera. Cool, great. You know what? You could just get a camera and also an Android phone and still have spent less than you spent on your stupid fucking iPhone, where everything's backwards and the the fucking coding is different and everything. It's just not, it's just not worth it. Their, their shit is so unusable unless you've been using it for your entire life. They're, that's not, that's not that true anymore, man. It, I switched, it really, I switched they're, they're, the iPhone. Their UI, like it, 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 it depends. It presumes that this is not your first Apple product. Everything is just like a little, like a little flick and a wink and you look this way and that's how you turn the page. (laughs) And if you want to close out this window, you just got to do a little dance. Why didn't you already know that? It's, it's common sense, isn't it? No, (laughs) give me a fucking X button. If I want to, if I want to access my files, give me a fucking folder that says files. It's it, it. You're making it complicated for no goddamn reason. <laughs> Watching on my iPad. <laughs> you talking trash on my family, stupid. I so, I so I bought an iPhone, my first iPhone, um, like a year and a half ago or a year ago, and it it actually is really really good. I'm sure it's fine. And it and switching everything over wasn't a pain in the ass. I didn't lose anything from my from my Android, anything like that. I just want to let you know that I will Ooh, say when you text me, the bubbles green. Yeah. You know what? Here's the other thing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing this for the bit, but, but if I'm being a hundred percent honest, the cringiest fucking shit in the world, and this is hypocritical, whatever. I don't give a shit. The cringiest, the cringiest shit in the world is like people actually getting into arguments over this. 
I'm a consumer whore for this mega billion dollar corporation. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'm a bigger consumer whore for this billion dollar corporation that uses fucking slave labor overseas. Like, like they all use slave labor overseas. Come exa on. Exactly. That's what I'm all saying. All of them. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So like, you're you, shut the fuck up. It's a phone. Get one. Get the other. Just shut the fuck up about it. Oh, so computers was where I where I could not conform. I bought an i an iBook or MacBook, oh, whatever. Yeah, for eight. When I, for, you had to take a mortgage out for it. No, it wasn't. It was it was one of the Air ones. It was like twelve hundred dollars or something like that. Um. And I was going to use it for this podcast and I used it for the first couple episodes and it drove me a little crazy. So I, I bought a fucking PC and uh, yeah, so that's that. I, I, I don't disagree with you on, on some of this stuff. I, I enjoy that the, that the marketing made it so that our, <laughs> so that it's a binary between a Mac or a PC and PC of course encompasses every other manufacturer of computers yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you mac is one company pc is a hundred is a hundred company yeah no you're and you're we all just and you ate yeah and you that was a marketing campaign and we all just ate that shit right up and it became anybody can build a pc yeah anybody can build a pc but they can't build an, an um a mac that, you know? can right. i can i point out the irony of stoop Wanting drafting Apple products, but also saying FaceTime as well. <laughs> See, I, that, that's a great. That's a great. That's a great point. That's a great point. We, that's a great point. That's a good catch. E, like you're. It's so the, the marketing is just. So, he meant Google time. <laughs> <laughs> the marketing is so in here. You could. I've never. I've never once in my life FaceTimed because I. Do, I've never owned any Apple products, save for you know the fucking iPod when I was thirteen. And, and by the way, those were fine. If we could have just stopped there, you know, it's like the <laughs> like the 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 evolution of the you know evolution of man meme where it's like oh fuck turn around like that you know if we could have stopped at the iPods it it would have been a lot more acceptable. Well, that's what brought them back. They were they the were in rough shape, and then they came with the iPad or iPod. <laughs> yeah. All right, Stoop, what's your last pick here, bud? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Yump. <laughs> all, all right. Which 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 one of these things uh, is gonna piss off the most people? Keep in mind, keep in mind, we do a dump list at the end. So okay, we, fine. Like you're not gonna be able to mention it. Or <sighs> okay, fine. So uh, all right. So for my final pick in the draft, I'm going to take ketchup. <laughs> I love that so simple. We go from political to to ketchup. <laughs> yep. Are you gonna ring that bell at the stadium? <laughs> and I don't mean I don't just mean I don't just mean ketchup on a hot dog. I think you're gross if you get ketchup on a hot dog. But also, just ketchup is gross. Ketchup is not good. Like if you're over four years old, you need to graduate from ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got nothing to say here, man. I use it. Yeah, it just, I, I, just, it, I'm 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 sure you do. I'm and getting it. I'm actually going to be getting a tattoo of a hot dog with ketchup. So, ooh, that's. I mean, well, we can at least have uh, someone matching. I was going to put like the, you know, like like the like the paintings of Jesus, where they always have like the circle with the with the like the glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. going to do that on the hot dog. So, all right. I mean, that's cool. But uh, ketchup's bad. Ketchup is <laughs> ketchup's not good. not good, man. <laughs> it's not good. I don't even. I don't even put it on my French fries. There's plenty of better things to put on French fries. Uh, anything really anything's better than ketchup nowadays there's so there's, many sauces <laughs> i used to just think i used to think that ketchup was acceptable uh in some circumstances and i suppose my one exception would be if you're using it as an ingredient to make a more sophisticated sauce it's in a lot of barbecue sauces yeah fine if you're using yeah. it as an ingredient yeah, it's but a, it's it's, it's not it's yeah. not a good condiment it's so sweet and overpowering See, and I actually have you, mustard on my list. That's and like that you need to catch up. And, 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 and like if you spill it or you get it on your hands, that fucking stench, the like sweet. Ugh, ugh, yeah, ketchup. condiments getting on like my skin. That's one of my specifically ketchup, days. though. It's yeah. just, yeah, ah, oh, it's the worst. Look up. It's so when, when you get a chance later, go on YouTube and look up ketchup fetish video. Oh, God. I don't think I will. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I I no, it, it, it involves yeah. it involves a young lady, a a blow up infl- like an inflatable like children's pool, and like 30, 30 bottles. I, of I already fell for that fifteen years ago with two girls, one cup. I ain't falling for that again. <laughs> one girl, one girl, one bottle of Heinz. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, uh, uh, Yumper. I don't. Uh, I don't need to put. Look. If your fries need ketchup on them, then they're not good fries. <laughs> like fake like, sauce. It, 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 like that's it, probably the only time I'm like, I absolutely need ketchup. I'll put it on a burger every once in a good, while. I'll good, put it on a hot dog every once in a while. Actually, but. good French fries need nothing. If if you need something, then you're compensating for something. <laughs> you're compensating. <laughs> if you're using ketchup, your dick's small. That's right. <laughs> you're, you're, your French fry dick is small. <laughs> oh, I so love it. I love I need, it. I need to have you on this show many times. Many times. <laughs> That's a good one. Caitlin what, <laughs> Caitlin, what we got for your last one? All right. For my last one, I feel like I always get stuck behind them in the drive through No big group orders in the drive through okay? You do a mobile order or you go inside. And you go inside. You pick <laughs> yes. it up. Yeah. I, I swear I get the, I'm like the most unlucky when it comes to this. I'm like, are you ordering for the whole classroom? Are you ordering for the entire office? Do you have, are you the Duggar family? Like what's going <laughs> on here? Yeah. Oh, I love, drives me nuts. I love, How religious I love this are pick. you? I yeah. love this pick, Kayla. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great pick. It drives me nuts. And I swear Sam and I, it's like, oh, I, I one, eat, I, I, I eat a lot of drive through food. I rely yeah. heavily on drive throughs for meals. Cause I'm a, I'm a busy professional on the you're go. A con- <laughs> you're a consumer. And do you, do you always pay with cash when you go to the fast food place? Uh, it depends on whether or not I just <laughs> sold drugs. Um, oh. But I, the, yeah, I, I, I agree completely. And also, there's nothing more American feeling than getting your food from the drive-thru. <laughs> like, like the only time I really feel patriotic is when I go and spend like $20 at Taco Bell or White Castle. And then I'm pulling <laughs> away and I'm just like, you know what? God bless America. Because you, <laughs> cause, cause you, you leave here and there really aren't drive throughs And that is one thing I will give this godforsaken shithole <laughs> is that we've got drive through food. It is good, but it's yeah, a, yeah, just like, not one of these big orders. <laughs> you go, you go to the drive-through at White Castle, and someone in front of you orders a Crave case. Your fucking ass is waiting for a while. Go in and get that shit. I, you I, order, I, you I, go to White Castle. Period. You get a guy in front of you gets one gets one slider. He's you're gonna wait twenty minutes because that fucking place. Well, that's oh, why no, Brian, it completely depends on location. Number White one, Castle's and, rough, dude. And number two, HBIC. I apologize. That was me ordering. The case. <laughs> <laughs> but I you know, you know, snow. they're always there. And then, then when, and then when they finally get their food, you know, they got to sit there for another five minutes to double check everything. Yeah, because too. I forgot how to put the car in drive, Caitlin. Just let me get a couple <laughs> burgers in me, and then we'll reevaluate. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like what I love about Portillo's is like. It doesn't like you don't have to wait for the person in front of you to get their food. They just have someone, you know, going oh, I, out to I, all the cars. I hate and it's that the greatest. Shit. Oh, I should have put that on my list. Fuck. But, I but hate... it's nice because you don't have to wait for the person in front of you to be done. If your food's ready, they just like, here you go. Unless, bye. And unless, you can leave. unless like the Portillo's and Skokie, you've got <laughs> you've got a single file drive through line. Because oh, yeah, no, then what happens two. is you're holding your hot food and uh, you just no. can't go anywhere. Yeah, ours is two, or else yeah, these, it would defeat these, the purpose. These, these these fast food places now that are doing that. Uh, uh, Chick Fil A has one. Um, the, a lot of these places now where you're 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 waiting in the drive through line, right? Now this restaurant presumably paid money to erect a uh, a menu with a speaker in it that you can you know communicate with the with the cashier, right? But instead of utilizing that equipment that they paid to have built, they've got a 15 year old, you know, six feet out in front of that. And he's going to take your order first. Yeah. What's the point of that? I still have to wait the same amount of time before yeah. I get to the window where you give me my food. I don't it doesn't seem like we're saving anybody any trouble. You just can't you just can't take it that they're hiring more people, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's. It. <laughs> I can't take it that they're hiring more kids that they can pay dirt. 
I had sure. a I had a buddy that interviewed for a, a manager job at a Chick Fil A once, and they they were asking him to quote scripture. So that was fun. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. I you know you know what drives me crazy about about fast food lines too. Um, I was in a, I was at a McDonald's the other day, and I was waiting in line in front behind this dude for twenty minutes. It was an old man. It took him twelve minutes to order asking questions asking questions and i swear to god he didn't get any fucking food they gave him like a they gave him like a small coke and he drove away oh my god as someone who served for in bartending for 10 years you'd be surprised the amount of times i have one person like i'll have 10 tables 10 people at my bar and they're like trying to hold me for 15 minutes of questions that are all on the menu and it's just like sir Read, leave me alone. <laughs> you are not the only person in this damn room. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, have a I, crazy. I have a drive through one <clears throat> on my list. Um, I'm not gonna pick it here, but we'll, I'll mention it in the in the dump here. Or this is Wendy's. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm not a formal person. I'll start by saying that. Um. Get the my, fuck out of here! My you? my my, <laughs> my definition of dressing up is to have a shirt that has like two buttons here, and the bow and the, the the bow tie on the shirt. See, that's where we're getting with that. <laughs> my pick, I think it should be illegal to wear a tie. All right, <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, because I got too fat a neck to button the top button on the dress I feel shirt. Like anyway. being, I think we're getting more casual as Same time here. goes on. Why are you being forced to put something around your fucking neck? Yeah, that is weird. That's a weird hell? thing. What I mean, I I will the say old West. Like, what the I hell? will say that I think that when done right, it it looks quite nice, but it sure doesn't have any semblance of practicality to it whatsoever. Wear a collared shirt. I don't care if you wear a fucking tie. Don't, <clears throat> and if any, if, if anything, it's 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 a bit of a hazard. You 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 kind of shouldn't have. It could get stuck something, on something. tied around you your could, neck. You could die. You could die. Yeah. You could you could die. This this is like a PSA. <laughs> The more you know. Do, do, do. So yeah, I I think wearing a tie is stupid. What about a and you're stupid tie? for wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. Yeah, I like the more casual look. I feel like it's getting more casual as the years go on. Oh, it absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, down Brandy, for that. Brandy's got a good point. It saves your shirt from the ketchup. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, so two birds, one stone. You 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 ban ketchup, and then ketchup no one no ties. one needs to wear a tie anymore. Win fucking win right there, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I'm this in. is our this is our platform. Uh, when, when, <laughs> when when Brian and I run for office, we're gonna ban ketchup and ties. <laughs> Love it. <clears throat> Mustard bolos. Yeah. Only. Only. Mandated, actually. <laughs> Official mandate. All right. Uh Jason, this is the uh what the Mr. Irrelevant pick? Yeah. Save I'm saving one of my best picks for last. Um I play I, the first one, the first three I picked because it's stuff that annoys the fuck out of me. But now I'm just gonna play to the audience for the votes. I'm going to I'm going to play to the Utes. And <laughs> my last pick is the cost of college tuition. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Uh, You've got all four good ones there. I don't think anybody yeah. can disagree with you. No, nah, yeah, he's he's out here. He's out here for the win. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is you could be accused of pandering here, Jason. Yep. <laughs> It's like, uh, it, uh, it is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And then you add on interest to all that; it's fun. <laughs> you idiots went to college. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. What a bunch <laughs> of suckers! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I, it's, I, it's I, obscene. I, I think it. You know what's funny too is probably I would. I, I'm gonna just guess. I would probably say like forty percent of those. Co- costs for college tuition are probably for athletic programs anyways and paying like multi-million dollar salaries to head coaches and shit so well but those but the sports right. bring in the money too though mm. yeah but i, I mean, think i think that that what we're getting to here is that there's a case to be made for the complete separation of athletics from academics and i think that it's a long time coming it's not going to happen, but but uh, it's not going to happen. Of course, it's not uh, because yeah. the because the whole you know machine is already up and running. But uh, you know, 
see Northwestern for further reason why <laughs> right things should right. probably be. Yeah, separated. one of my, one of my buddy's suggestions was uh, what should be legal is the Northwestern a- uh, Athletics Department. So yeah, I should have picked that. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> you're you're uh, you're slipping, buddy. Yeah, yeah I think you're not, you yeah. Know, there's no ass cast this week. So how are you going to bitch about Northwestern again? Uh, I mean, I'll just do it like just, I'll just give them even, a platform just, right now. I'll just do it. I'll just do it in here. No one will hear me, but I'll just be talking to the wall and, you know, I'll get it out somehow. But yeah, actually, actually what I'll do is I'll have a good old, a good old, like, you know, full decibel speakerphone conversation with my father and we'll just be yelling over each other for an hour. <laughs> That's how I'll, that's how I get it out of my system. While pissing on the toilet seat. Yeah. On your iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> but no, with the cost situation, it's funny though. I remember when I was in college, I was like, "What are these miscellaneous fees?" And I clicked on it, and one of them was like, "To rebuild the gym." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, I don't use the gym. Why the fuck? <laughs> well, it was like like the athletic like field, and I'm like, yeah. "Why pay yeah. to have this? Yeah. Like, what? That no, I thought I'm paying for my classes here, but." No, you, it, it's amazing what those fees go to. Jesus, it is amazing. Yeah. Amazing is a good adjective it's for like, what it it's is. It's like Ticketmaster fees. Well, and then it's, I graduated. It's the same. It's the same thing. Same really. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're and paying twice. Yeah. You're paying twice as much, which is phantom, phantom money. Yeah. It's just, it's just hilarious. And then they didn't even finish it when I graduated, so I had to graduate from like the local high school. And I was like, so I'm paid, and I didn't even get to use it, huh? <laughs> Funny, that, funny. There's the rub right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus but yeah, that's, Christ. That's a good one. Yeah. Jason's uh swept the floor here. Yeah, Jason's got a good draft there. Oh yeah. He went after. I'm he very went after, angry. He, he went, went for t- blood <laughs> and ketchup. T- 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 Ticketmaster <laughs> telemarketing and politicians. Come on, he's he's uh yeah yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be a hundred percent. Yeah, that is the old I man think yelling. I think he's taking. Right I there. think he's taking PEDs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, one, no one piss test me after this. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth's right here, buddy. Come on over. Those are good <laughs> ones. Yumper, Yumper said Harvard was charging 40K a semester when, when they were in COVID and the kids were at home e-learning. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, because, well... Well, you're I, paying for your diploma. You're not paying for anything else. Well, and it's also... You're going to Ivy League. That's how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, for Harvard, you're paying to say you went to Harvard. Yeah, you're not... My, my uncle, um, my well, my cousin went to Columbia, um, Ivy League Columbia, not Columbia, Chicago. <laughs> um, and I asked my uncle, just we we're hanging out at a party or whatever. I'm like, what do you pay every, what do you pay every year for this kid to go to college? He goes, well, go to a, go to a Mercedes dealership. Tell him, give me the, give me the most expensive car you have <laughs> and then drive it off a cliff. And then you got to do it again next year. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's basically it- what it is. Like. Yeah, it's just push insane. It, just push it off the cliff, throw it, you know, throw it in the river, whatever. And then you got to go buy one next year. I drove off a cliff last year. It was a good time. Ooh. Sweet, it's a good time. It's fun. I was gonna go with some automotive ones, but I'm like, ah, oh, this guy's gonna freak out if I if I talk about like motorcycle douchebags or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have some good ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can do one of two things. We can do a dump list, or I have a list of laws in other states that um, are ridiculous. Let's let's do let's do the dump list because I got yeah, I got I a like few here. I got I got four here too that I could, okay. Give me I one could... more sec here. We're actually uh, I do have lists from people. So yeah. um, first one, Dougie Fresh. Attending any remaining <laughs> so, like so Dougie Fresh list. Attending any remaining I see, I'm gonna start reading stuff that's on the screen because um, yeah. you know I have an audio <laughs> version of this show, so you know. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean I assume number one applies to people who are of age. Yeah. Attending any <laughs> remaining White Sox games sober. Um I mean I hope he's not talking about his daughter. Um Aricetta, uh <laughs> Not in taco form. He's 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 going after uh, going after Jason there. He's still he's still salty, man. One. He's still he's he's still salty about it. The Christmas <laughs> one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Scores, oh boy. I mean, Menards Menards is like Menards is like t minus three weeks before they have their Christmas <laughs> shit out. And then of I course, love... <laughs> I love I love how we mentioned the the White Castle yeah. stuff, and Dougie mentioned White Castle drive through when you're drunk, drunk. The wait times. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, people that don't give you the courtesy wave, thank you when you let them into traffic. Oh, yeah. That's my biggest. That's that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I almost stole and, that one. And, we, I saw it. and I feel like we all say, you're welcome. But, right? Yeah. We ask all do Sam. That. I, I'm like, they didn't give me a wave. They didn't yeah. give you a wave. I get so pissed. <laughs> yeah. I wish I hadn't let you in now, bitch. Yep. Exactly. Like, fuck yeah. you. And then we have country music, obviously. Sure. Uh, pumpkin spice drinks. Yep. Uh, oh, I am gonna gross. make him the next time he comes over in the fall for like a Bears game. I'm gonna make him all like <laughs> pumpkin spice. I I, I I enjoy a pumpkin spice. I have one a year of pumpkin spice. And I'm I done. enjoy. I enjoy. Oh, that spice. is such a good one about the Super Bowl. That is a yeah. Beat. That should be yeah. a national holiday. I agree. That that, that's a, a great that's, one. That's a great one. That would have been a yeah. good pick. Hey, um, look at Brian. Last one. And then the last one we already talked about. We were talking yeah. about cable prices, and you, you mentioned expanding cable prices. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, th there's no excuse to be paying for cable in 2023. Nope. Um, and also having to work the day after the Super Bowl, you don't. You could take off. You could. My brother. You don't have to work. You don't. You don't have to work ever if you don't want to. <laughs> My, one of my brother worked for Heinz Craft. They automatically give you the Monday off. It's the only company I've ever known that has well, it's uh, done they own, that. Heinz and Craft both own uh, <laughs> professional football teams. Oh, well, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go with this is Mailman Jack's list. So infants in a movie theater. That's a good one. Oh, I know Sam is like, happy about that one. <laughs> Long lines at the deli counter on Cheap Chicken Monday at, at the Jewels. <laughs> Credit card surcharges for anything. Yep. <laughs> a laundromat that doesn't have a tamale <laughs> vendor outside. For those of you that don't know Mailman Jack that well, he he and his, on his route he has a tamale vendor he goes to that's outside of a laundromat. So that's every, every week. Um, and then obviously gas pumps that uh, ask you if you want a car wash today. <laughs> Yeah, people brought uh, babies to like Infinity War and Endgame, and we were about to lose it. <laughs> that I, was rough. Don't bring your baby. Like if your kids, oh, if your kids <laughs> under four, don't bring your kid to the movies. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't do especially it. during a huge. Like... And, and and if you're like, I can't go to the movies, then you can't go to the movies. I'm sorry. Yeah, you unfortunately, had, you had... have to miss out. I, I don't want to be that guy that's like like scolding people for having children but you had a kid don't go to the fucking movies and ruin There's everybody else you fun. have to miss out on you know you know, sucks, you know how but... you know how you can avoid credit card surcharges not having credit cards having having cash. Cash. <laughs> By using cash baby uh, bada -boom. <laughs> and then finally i have baloney's list ticket master what? obviously yeah. um yeah movie starting 30 minutes past the advertised start time that's a good one Stupid kid talking about piss every week. <laughs> MLB well, blackout restrictions. There's mine. You'll um, have to lobby the Congress, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. The vision <laughs> winners hosting playoff games when they have a worse record than a wild card team. That the is annoying. The people have spoken, baloney. You know, my 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 tubes are tied. I mean, my hands are tied. <laughs> All right, <sighs> dump lists. You want to go first, Jason? Sure. Uh, my dump list. First one I got is um, Congress being able to trade stocks. Oh yeah. my oh, god, hundred yeah. percent. That's, that's an obvious one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can you can even kind of pull in. off with that with lobbying too, like yeah. like lobbying. Yeah. Like... Um, second one is being forced to sit in an airplane on a uh, while you taxi in or on the runway oh, for, oh, for, for more than for more than 30 minutes. I like. mean, we could really do a whole separate episode, like on just, air, just on stuff, how yeah. airlines can airport. Themselves. Shit, yeah. When yeah. we land, yeah. I feel like we're like in a, a Uber tech, like an Uber airport. The, fa the fact like, that they like, book more tickets than they have seats. Yeah. Oh, you know? 100%. Uh, next one is, Getting food that doesn't look like the advertisement. Yep. That's the worst. <laughs> wow. I saw I mean, Taco would... Bell's getting sued today for their crunch wraps, and I was like, yes, Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because what, their crunch the... wraps, the crunch wraps show more meat than you actually get. Really? So they're they're getting That's sued for and I was like, yes, I wonder, you do I would... that. I want uh... all the, all those fast food companies to get sued because I never get what the food looks like. Oh, we're gonna have to get in on that class action then. Uh, hell yeah and by the way any <laughs> anyone who can hear this if you find a class action send it to me that's free money yes, it is. <laughs> yep. and you don't have to do anything but fill out the form i got i got in i got in i got in on the one years ago uh for red bull being sued because it doesn't it actually give, give you wings. wings ah i got i got out of that too i got yeah. i took I, instead of the money i took the free pack of red bull <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm like, am I gonna get? I'm gonna get like five bucks back, or I'm gonna get a free case of Red Bull. I'm taking. Yeah, I want. I want. I want wings. Damn it! <laughs> my oh, yeah. wings. They should send you like, um, paper wings in the mail. <laughs> my my last one is uh, driving the speed limit. Oh yeah! Don't go the speed limit or below. Always go at least ten miles over. Five to 10. Yeah. People yeah. who yeah. drive slow are the reasons that there's accidents. That's right. Yep. Everyone you're trying to speed. cut around them and, and change lanes and everything. You drive the speed limit. <laughs> don't get on the fucking road. Everyone should speed 100%. all the time. Yeah, I hate slow people, and they're always in the left lane somehow. I was gonna put that, but that was an obvious one. Passing on the right. Yup. That's yep. all I got for my my dump list. Good stuff, Jason. Mm, you thanks. uh, you, yeah, you you had very uh, precise and and calculated uh, items. That's what for I sure. Do. That's what I do. I'm cerebral. <laughs> Cere- it's called me Triple H, the cerebral assassin. <laughs> you uh pick uh really uh good. Uh... I- I'm cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Caitlin. All right, I do have a little list here. I'll go fast. Yeah. Taking up two parking spaces drives me nuts. Oh God, right. yes. Well, that kind of is a le- you can get a ticket for that, can't you? I don't uh, know if you can. I feel like yeah, they the don't. Parking lots, parking lots are mostly privately owned. Nobody really. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's nobody being paid to yeah. fucking give a shit about that. Okay. I had convenience fees, which is pretty much like Ticketmaster fees, but like all around. Yeah. Uh, I can't stand when the volume for the commercials like oh 10 my God. times. That's they, on my list. They're actually, <laughs> they're actually, they're actually was, they're actually a few years ago. There actually was yeah. legislation about that. I and hate it. and like, the, the motherfuckers lobbied to have that law killed. Uh, that drives me nuts. It's yeah. always like it scares you. It's scary. I, I get startled the, the, really. The easily. FCC actually tried to fix that, and then somebody handed them some money, and they were like, "Eh, never mind." Yeah, it drives me nuts every time. That's a the way comes government on. works. <laughs> they want you to hear. Um, this uh, is like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I know this is like. Uh, it seems like it's like less of a thing of the past, but I think it's gross. Like the celebrity 18th birthday countdowns. I just think that's Ooh. disgusting. Ooh, yeah, man, it's just. Terrible. Yeah, it's just. Gross. That's real gross. Yeah, when people block main walkways drives me insane. Oh, stopping in the middle of the goddamn concourse. Yeah. Yep. Just blocking everybody's passage to get out. <laughs> Uh, when chips are filled halfway with air and, and other snacks. Oh, that's like every that's like every that's like every fun sized bag of chips on the planet. The co- the company will tell you that that is to protect the chips. Yeah, whatever. Fill it yeah, three fourths and protect the rest. <laughs> uh, boomers oversharing on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Free trials that want a credit card. No. Uh. And then, yeah, I had slow people in the left lane, child beauty pageants, underage that was, marriage. That was your first suggestion to me when you, yeah, when you were like, I have an idea for a draft. And you said, I'm like, okay. And you're like, like child pageants. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the, great. The, the Venn diagram of people who enter their kids into child beauty pageants I mean, and, you can... and, and people who think that, who call teachers groomers, that Venn diagram is a circle. You could yeah. put that under like the purity ball shit too. Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's all something just, yeah. you're making your kid do that's yeah. just not right. It's the same. It's people. just gross. Yeah, along with underage marriage, Create, I just don't creating think weird cultures. Right. Yeah. And my last one was: Do you ever walk anywhere and there's like a click of like five, six people walking horizontally at you, and it's like, where would you like us all to go <laughs> while you're walking five plus <laughs> long with your group of people? <laughs> I it drives me insane. Move like or single file, okay? Like you're on a sidewalk, yay big. It's like move to the side. No, yeah. all right. Well, just, that drives yeah. me insane. Show, show some fucking humanity there, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like no, go to the right. Like it's like, you know, like walking's supposed to be kind of like, you know, what you're like you're driving, but people don't understand that. <laughs> but did, yeah, that's my list. I did forget that Sam, uh Caitlin's husband Sam did give me a list and it was just Oh yeah. It was just vaccines. <laughs> He's being funny. So vaccines should be illegal. <laughs> the, He's being witty. Thanks, Dylan Cease. Yeah. And, and also like half thanks, of the thanks. baseball players. 80% of athletes yeah. are like that. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably, probably some dots to be connected there. <laughs> 
Yeah, we could go on all night. There's too many things that should be illegal. (laughs) Stoop, you got any more? Yeah, so uh, um, HVAC controls on a touchscreen instead of like knobs or dials or or anything tactile. In fact, just this whole movement over the last several years, and it's only getting worse, of replacing buttons with touchscreens, you know, there was nothing wrong with buttons. Okay. <laughs> this is this is old man yellow buttons, clouds right here, like dude. Buttons. <laughs> but buttons break a lot less than touch screens. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, especially like cars now that have everything on a touch screen, go fuck yourself. No <laughs> one asked for this, man. I just want to turn the heat up a little bit and keep my eyes on the fucking road. All right, I can't do that if I can't feel where the you know heat switch is or whatever. Um, and then we have uh taking your shoes off on an airplane. Yep, that was yep. on my list. Uh, which I think yeah, is a pretty common uh faux pas. And uh I added that taking your socks off would be the death penalty. Yep. <laughs> um and then today in the office I heard someone unironically use the word guesstimate and that should be <laughs> that that should be illegal you sound like an idiot um asking what someone does for work when you have nothing else to talk about like what do you do for work i don't know man i fucking sit and stare at a screen i do the same thing you do like <laughs> we it's okay to not say anything to each other like if you don't have any if we don't have anything to talk about that's okay but if you ask me what I do for work, I'm going to tell you I do some bullshit so that I can fucking pay my rent. You know, I, I don't. Um, and then in it right in line with that, then I have uh, and I, I, I almost picked this one in my draft corporate speak. Um, the way that partic- it particularly bothers me when it's like just the person who's one rung above you on the corporate ladder who feels the need to carry the water of the company every time. Like you can just talk to me like a person. Okay. Like we can drop the facade. Like the company gives a shit about either one of us, right? You and I are both just here for a paycheck, right? So we can just talk to each other like normal people. You don't have to put up this front. Like you're representing the company. The company doesn't give a fuck about you anymore. They care about me. And you know the, the you know bandwidth and circle back and back burner and all you know all the and all the all the got all the acronyms that no one has any idea what these fucking things mean you know KPIs and whatnot shut the fuck up just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it <laughs> um, let's see catch up Apple products <laughs> um, it, it, and then with the the one that we covered uh, just before we got on the air here. Um, what should be illegal is going into the office or being required to go into the office when literally your entire job is done on the computer. I don't know if you guys know this, but most people have a computer at home and, and a connection to the internet, at least in the United States. Uh, so why do I need to get up early and drive or commute into some place to sit at a computer? I can sit at a computer perfectly fine in my home. Um, it's just about control though, at the end of the day. And then the last one I have here is making anime your entire personality. (laughs) (laughs) You know, (laughs) um, this has just gotten out of hand, man. Um, like some of the shows are cool. Uh, you know, the, it's cool. If you like the art, some of it is really well done, but like a lot of it, you know, is targeted to kids. And it's like, when you watch the shit, it's really, really fucking like simple and generic and cookie cutter plot lines. And like fucking 90% of every episode of every show is like just explaining. And it's enough already, man. It's not that damn cool. It doesn't make you special or unique. <laughs> it, 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 it's like you, you branch out a little bit, it's, you know, learn, uh, learn. I'm having, um, so I'm read, having read, an ac- read an actual book. I'm you having know? Brandy bring back something anime themed for you from Japan. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's all I got. All right, those are, those are those are good, man. 
Um, I have a lot, so I'm just gonna kind of rapid fire it. If you guys want to say something, just shoot, just shoot it out over me here. Uh, insurance companies, just in period, just period, insurance yeah. companies. Um, wearing unrelated team hats and jerseys to sporting events. So uh, like, so I like agree. if you're at like a like a White Sox, uh, Red Sox game, and somebody's walking around wearing Cubs gear, like fuck you, <laughs> go away. Uh, salads. Just salad. <laughs> eat, eat something good and take some vitamins, motherfucker. <laughs> um, concert headliners starting after 10 p.m. Like, fuck oh, you. yeah. I'm old. I want to go to sleep. Yep. Uh, now, this one would just be for me and Jason. Uh, wrestling pay-per-views that last more than five hours. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. Um, now, if you ever go to like the United Center and you go to like, a concert or, or, a, or, a, or a Bulls game or whatever... And you get a water, they have to take the top off the water. Yeah, I hate that. Come on. We're going <laughs> to throw the little pl- piece of plastic at someone and kill someone. I just want you to like. drop it so you buy another $7 water bottle. <laughs> right. Um, the the gate at the craft cave that's always been consistently locked or. It's or open now. Tied. Is it opening it? It's well, open. The well, then it's. Well, then it's. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, I was uh, sitting next to Brewhand Luke uh, on Saturday and he was <laughs> extremely excited. Yeah, when it, it's his gate. whole life. It's his whole life. Very <laughs> excited. Uh, reality television, just, yeah, just in general, yeah. like I, it's okay. It's okay to have a reality TV show, but you have to tell your audience this is fucking scripted. That's my that's my caveat there. All right. Um, anything that is birthday cake flavored. <laughs> it's a lot the, of things yeah. nowadays. I'm, I'm 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 with you. I'm with you on that because the flavor is just sugar. There's no flavor to. There's it. like a little vanilla in there. That's all. yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Um, uh, so until Dougie Fresh and I can catch up, they should they can't make any more comic book movies. <laughs> I th- I think I think they could stop making comic book movies in general. I think we have enough. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, CPG. If if and when you listen and watch. Uh, cashiers at stores that ask you to sign up for credit cards. Don't just leave me alone. Yeah, I hate. L- let me buy something from you them. and leave. Yeah. Um. Hey, you can avoid that if you use cash. This is <laughs> this is one you motherfucker. Um, this is one that I wanted to pick and I probably should have. Paper plates that aren't heavy duty. <laughs> yeah, right. when you have to use like four to get the string. Right. Yeah. Why, why I, do you I make gotcha. those? What what purpose do those little flimsy ass paper plates? So serve? you run out faster because you got a they, triple stack. So they, they need to have a a law where it they has, serve. It has to carry a certain amount of weight before it tips. That's such they, a good one. That's I a good I, one. I feel you, but they do serve a purpose. It's like if you're like late at night, you're just having one piece of like toast with peanut butter on it or something. You know, it's like you could use a paper towel and those little paper, those thin little paper plates. It's just like one step above just using a paper towel. Right. Or like or like if you're microwaving something real quick uh, and you don't want you don't want your blunt to touch the the plate at the, the bottom of the microwave. <laughs> you don't want your blunt to touch it. Huh? They you all know, get you know. stuck together, though. So you either get like one little thin piece or you get in like a five, six, six stack sometimes. Yeah, you're trying to pry them. Yeah, off and then you other. do. You spend you spend a long time trying to separate them. Yeah. Yeah, I said next time I'm gonna go up a level. Of course, we, we could we could all just stop creating more landfill and just yeah, you know, use regular true. dishes and then wash them. Right. But, right. You know, we can just <laughs> there's a there's a commercial for like heavy duty paper plates where this guy is making like spaghetti for his girlfriend and he brings her like spaghetti on like this little flimsy paper plate and the plate tips over and falls all over. Her. And it's like, why? Why the fuck would it's you serve dramatic. spaghetti on any paper plate, let alone? My, my, my grandma used to wash and reuse the paper plates. That's oh that's, man, poor woman. Oh, I, I I love that. That's, that's, that's so, so great. great. It's so gross. <laughs> uh, emissions tests for cars. Oh, I, yeah, I, fuck I the earth. It. Well, no, but they're, <laughs> but they're not. It's this isn't like the 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 engines are different now, man. They're not. They're not letting off. <laughs> what they used to let off yeah i forgot they did them when we moved back here i was like oh yeah shit but brian (laughs) why is it that they're not emitting what they once were because they carry cash okay is that what you wanted me to say (laughs) no it's because Um, of it's because of emissions emissions laws yeah Yeah. so you're right we're just lazy and don't want to bring our that, cars. That 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 be that, is, he, is he ranting against the thing he's advocating? 
<laughs> that that being said, as a as a petrol enthusiast, <laughs> I too would enjoy a world with no emissions testing. There are states in the United There's States. There's counties in Illinois that are like, much less strict with their emissions. Like testing. I live yeah. out in Kane, I live out in Kane, and, and if if I was at like a couple more minutes west of of where I live, um, they don't do emissions at all. Yeah, yeah. so you no. know. Uh, there's places you can go if you don't want that. Also, right. in, in, at least in Illinois, they don't like stick anything in the it, like they don't actually. It, put yeah, little... they don't do the tube test anymore. Yeah. Right? They just put it in the computer. It's just like, do you have a check engine light on? No. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Hmm. And then finally, uh, tolls. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, that's a just good tax one. everybody that you, like a small amount to keep the roads safe. Like fuck. Only it. a few yeah. states. Or do you know, it too. or you know, I mean, God forbid we build alternative to car travel, but you know, whatever. What, like like teleportation you know like fucking trains i don't know it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah we pay all the money for tolls but then the roads still suck <laughs> yeah, because they're very very difficult to maintain it's a very stupid and expensive way to have infrastructure yeah, yeah. i've been to all 48 of like the like you know to use us and i've only been to a few that actually have tolls a lot of them don't have them some of them have like outrageous tolls, like New Jersey. Yeah. It's like a yeah. billion the turn, dollars. Oh, yeah. turn, the turnpikes will get you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the turn. The, that's right. The turnpikes. It'll be a lot Brutal. of money. A lot. That's a good one. Well, that's all I got. So, um. Yeah, that was good. All right, so let's let's go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, Jason, you got anything uh, you want to mention before we head out? No, I'm good. You guys know Bumcast 9 p.m. and our new podcast, Bums in the Bleacher, for the Cubs fans out there, is going to be on the YouTube channels as well. So make sure you uh, check it out if you're a Cubs fan. Excellent. Stoop? Uh, fucking, I don't know. I have a, you know, if you look at my thing on the screen here, you should follow that Twitter account. It'll tweet some funny things occasionally. I have a podcast. It's called If You Have to Ask, You Don't Know. What's it about? Um, uh, if You Have to Ask, You Don't Know. And uh, you know, read read all sports scene. Uh, we do tremendous work, we and do. we're just the you know we're 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 a force for good in the world. Tremendous work, <laughs> tremendous people. And tremendous, Caitlin, tremendous work, tremendous people. Caitlin is married <laughs> to one of those tremendous people. And, uh, oh yes, we'll yep. definitely have to have you on again. You did a great job tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Check out Sam's uh, and the, our amazing friends on the ass cast at all sports scene. They're goofy over there. They're great. Ass cast. Every time I every time I want to watch it, I go, oh, the ass cast is on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Thank you for having us. No problem. You, yeah, no problem. Thanks for having us. Vote uh, HBIC in the poll. No. Vote early. Vote often. No. I think I'm voting for you already. I'm just gonna so. forget. I'm just gonna- <laughs> I'm going to forget to put you in the poll because I know you love controversy. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so tomorrow night, CPG and I will be doing playback for AEW Dynamite. So feel free to come and hang out with that. Um, I will be back next week for another episode of It's Getting Drafty in here. I might do a couple of episodes next week, but one's, one that's definitely lined up for next Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be me, Svo, uh, Jordan from uh, All Sports Scene and uh, Southside Sox, as well as Southside Sox member Crystal O'Keefe. We're going to be drafting... Uh, Major League Baseball City Connect uniforms. So Ooh. that'll be a fun one. Um, you want you want to miss that one? I mean, first um, overall has to take the White Sox, right? You know that wouldn't be my pick, but really, yeah, we'll we'll discuss that later. Okay, but uh, but yeah, this stay is tuned, getting... folks. That's called a tease. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please subscribe to the Statistic Pen- Penguin Studios on uh, on on the YouTube's. Um. Check us out on, on our on our website, uh, sadisticpenguinnetwork.com or studios.com, excuse me. Um, we also have merch, so feel free to buy some uh, It's Getting Drafty in Here shirts, some Yumper and Svo stuff, hook up on film. Um, and then uh, always, you know, Yumper and Svo will be back next week with another episode, so be on the lookout for that. This has been uh, It's Getting Drafty in Here, episode 24. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Thank Yay. You. Bye, guys. <laughs>